hi everyone in this video you have solved three limits at infinity and you have to use the conjugate method so in part a if we use direct substitution you will get square root of infinity squared plus three which is infinity minus infinity and infinity minus infinity is like zero over zero or infinity over infinity so you have to do something to find the value of limit because infinity minus infinity is indeterminate form so the limit will be limit square root of x squared plus 3 minus x divided by 1 when x goes to positive infinity now you have to multiply by the conjugate of a numerator and the conjugate of f in the numerator is square root of x squared plus 3 plus x divide by the same conjugate and denominator now you have to multiply the quantity and numerator by its conjugate and as you know you have to use the difference between two squares because a minus b times a plus b equals a squared plus b squared so a is square root of x squared plus 3 and b is x so we can simplify the numerator as square root of x squared plus 3 all squared this is a squared minus b squared which is x squared divide by the conjugate x squared plus 3 plus x when x goes to positive infinity now since we have square root to the power 2 you have to cancel power 2 with square root and you will get this quantity in the numerator now x square minus x square equal to 0 and we have limit 3 divided by square root of x squared plus 3 minus plus x sorry when x goes to positive infinity now what to do you have to divide numerator and denominator by x or you can use another method you have to take the highest power up and the highest power down and in numerator we have 3 so this is the highest power because we have a constant only and denominator for the first one we have square root of x squared and we have x in the second term when x goes to positive infinity now as you know square root of x squared equals absolute value of x but since go uh, since x goes to positive infinity positive infinity is a positive quantity so you can replace absolute value of x by x since x goes to positive infinity if x goes to negative infinity you have to replace it by negative x so we have limit 3 over x plus x when x goes to positive infinity and this is equals limit 3 over 2x when x goes to positive infinity and 3 divided by infinity equal to 0 for the second part you have to use the same we did in part a you have to use the conjugate technique to find this limit so directly we have limit square root of x to the sixth power plus 5 over 1 multiply by its conjugate sorry minus x power 3 multiply by its conjugate which is square root of x to the sixth power plus 5 plus x cubed divide by the conjugate x to the sixth power plus 5 plus x cubed now with the same procedure we have difference between two squares and a equals this quantity b equal x power 3 this is a this is b 
uh, the answer will be a squared minus b squared so when x goes to positive infinity we have limit the first term squared x for 6 plus 5 squared minus x power 3 squared divided by square root of x to the sixth power plus 5 plus x cubed when x goes to positive infinity now what about the simplification and enumerator we have a uh, square root with power 2 so you have to cancel square root with power 2 and we have x to the power 3 to the power 2 which means x to the power 6 you have to multiply the powers so you have to get x to the power 6 now x to the power 6 minus x to the power 6 equal to 0 and by complete the simplification you will get limit 5 over square root of x to the sixth power plus 5 plus x cubed when x goes to positive infinity now you have to take the highest power up and down so we have limit 5 we have a constant and numerator divide by the first term is square root of x to the sixth power and here we have x power 3 when x goes to positive infinity now what about the square root of x to the power 6 square root of x to the 6 equals absolute value of x power 3 now since x goes to positive infinity and infinity is a positive quantity you have to cancel the notation of absolute value and you will get x cubed because x goes to positive infinity if x goes to negative infinity it will be minus x cubed so the answer will be limit 5 over x cubed plus x cubed when x goes to positive infinity now we have limit 5 over 2x cubed when x goes to positive infinity and we have 5 over infinity which is 0 and this is the final answer for part b in part c we have almost the same question in part b but we have inside square root we have x power 6 plus 5 x cubed so with the same procedure firstly you have to multiply by the conjugate of a numerator so we have limit square root of x to the 6 plus 5 x cubed minus x power 3 divided by 1 multiply by its conjugate and its conjugate is the same but you have to put plus between x power 6 plus 5 x cubed plus x3 divided by the same conjugate and denominator x6 plus 5x cubed plus x power 3 when x goes to positive infinity now you have to multiply this one with its conjugate and you have to use the same difference between two squares so a equals this radical and b equals x power 3 a and b and the answer will be the first term squared minus the second term squared so we have limit the first term is a square root of x to the sixth power plus 5 x cubed all squared minus x cubed squared 
divide by the conjugate square root of x to the power 6 plus 5x cubed plus x cubed when x goes to infinity. Now you have to simplify with the same manner as previous parts. Power 2 cancel the radical and x power 3 power 2 equals x to the power 6. Now x to the power 6 minus x to the power 6 equal to 0. Now we have 5x cubed in the numerator and we have the conjugate and denominator so the final step you have to take the highest power up and down and the highest exponent up is the same because we have one term only for denominator we have square root of x to the sixth power plus x cubed when x goes to positive infinity now what about square root of x to the power 6 it is the same here we have absolute value of x cubed which is equals x to the power 3 because x goes to a positive quantity so you have to cancel the notation of absolute value and put it x power 3 so it will be limit 5 x to the power 3 divide by x to the power 3 plus x to the power 3 when x goes to positive infinity now x power 3 plus x power 3 equals 2x cubed and in numerator we have 5x cubed when x goes to positive infinity now cancel x cubed with x cubed and you will get 5 over 2 and this is the answer of part C. And that's it. Thank you.